Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Bayonetta 2 weapons. As you can see, it's proper sick weapons at the top there. Onyx Roses and, um, what are the ice skates called? Whatever. Let's just call them, um, badass ice skates, shall we? Anyway, in this video, we're going to go through, um, all the trailers and I'm going to point out basically like IGM that you aren't, except not a shit version, basically. Um, so yeah, let's go. Roll on the first trailer. Okay, so as the Taylor trailer first begins, notice the mood. I'm going to pause the video right here. Notice the mood. There's definitely something up with the mood, and it's got something to do with the game, you can tell, because basically the mood in the original play probably one of the biggest parts of the entire game, which basically gave Bayonetta the ability to walk on walls. Without the mood, basically they can't do shit. And I mean, they can't do, they can't walk up walls and nothing like that. But. It's actually the same logo as the actual game itself. I'll put that as an image up there and you can skip back if you want to see it as well. It's even on the thumbnail for the video. But it's just something to think about. And also, it could be a weird type of eclipse on a moon. I know it's meant to be on a sun, but still, you never know. It's been there. It could be something strange, like, you know, because there's different universes and different worlds, like Paradiso and all that. It could just be a different type of eclipse. Who knows? But anyway, as the trailer continues... Notice the feather. That's a black feather, by the way. Not a white one. So that, could this be signifying? Signifying. Suggesting that the angels are dead, or there's some other type of clan, maybe feckin' owls, who, who knows? Because on other trailers, there are angels, I assume. But, we don't know what this means. If it's black, why, why is it black? Why is it not white? But, hopefully at E3 we'll find out what this is. So, also... Notice the bullet. The little that is actually explosive sort of they use on explosive rounds, the little cross section. I've saw this on the internet, that is apparently what they use in explosive rounds, so maybe you know it's an explosive round bullet, who knows? But notice as the bullets come out, look at the way like, you know, the dimensions, you know, the way they come through like the portals. This is even sure this is even, you couldn't do this with the guns on the original, but you know, she used to go through these to go to different worlds, so she's shooting bullets into a different world, who knows. Notice she's only using her feet as well, she doesn't even use her hands in the scene. All you see in these clips are her hands, you don't see a face, you don't see a hands move, it's always on her feet. So it's kind of strange, the fact that she's just using her feet. Also, you can see here, yeah, there's something on her shoe, but you can't really make it out, but it's definitely something on her heels. So as the bullets go through, you go faster and faster, and you're like, all right, it's gonna, you know, like the it's a basic, this trailer is basically completely similar to the first one. So you're thinking, oh, the bullet's gonna kill the bad guy, you're gonna kick his ass, flying through the air. Then you're like, shit, time stops, which is pretty much the exact same as the last guy on the first game when he stopped time. So, but this guy, no one knows who this guy is. Then it so comes, slices the bullet in half everywhere. No one knows. No news. No one knows who this is. I assume this is an angel. So yeah, the swords cutting through all the bullets. La la la. la. Not ready to notice there. Cutting, cutting, cutting. And then, as it gets slower, the bullet comes in contact with Bayonetta's foot. There, right there. And you can sort of get a shot of one of the blue, the new blue guns. And I'm going to tell you what the name of that now is. So. There you go. That is the new gun. Now, I'm going to do a comparison to the original guns and you'll be blown away at the difference between the two. Notice the guy at the back there. No one knows who that is. I don't even know who he is, but he's got weird, like this weird type of weapon, like a double-handed sword. Kind of like the paddle sword from Dead Rising. I notice the bullet's sl sliced in half there as it gets closer. See, there's the logo right there. So yeah, that's the first trailer. 
There's definitely something to do with the moon and the, you know, I don't think that they're angels this time. There might be angels as well, but I definitely think it's focusing on someone else. Anyway, roll on the second trailer. なんかワンの方で you want to touch me? All right, so as the preview trailer from the developers begins. It's kind of just kind of like, you know, introductions where they work and all so blah, 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 not see it, run past, run past, run past, you know, all that. Then, here's some artwork, you know, you were saying like he wants to make like leather, leather, which is quite understandable since you've got a different outfit. So a few enemies right there, there's another enemy. Um, them hands, that, another enemy. See, they only show the same kind of animals, but look at these environments. Just looks great. A train, a plane. Oh my god. They're definitely trying to make it more like a city. Definitely. Especially that underground bit that looked really cool. Like Hades. But, I'm not really going to pause that much in this video because you kind of see for yourself. But it's kind of self explanatory. You know, it's completely different the scale. He wants to make it feel like it's the last boss from the very beginning, which is going to be absolutely great because I love having tense fights. And then, please don't have people complain about the Wii U, I've had enough of that. To be honest, it's the only reason why I'm going to play a game on the Wii U, and guess what, I have one, so I'm not really bothered. And, to be honest, it doesn't look bad on the Wii U, and you're going to see here from this bit. Though, these are real-time graphics in the Wii U. That is not bad graphics, that's actually quite decent. In fact, that's more than decent. And, here's actual in-game footage now. Of a new monster, no one knows what this is. I assume that is not an angel, that's something else. Like I said, black feathers. So, yeah, let's look at the artwork now. Alright, so here's some of the artwork, and it's probably the best way to compare how much of a difference that new glass compared to the old one. Look how big it is compared to the old one. That is huge. That Some people don't even think that's actually right now. Some people actually think that's a different new character. Oh, that, that, that is the same gun, it's just been upgraded, but oh my god, the gun's big enough already. Look at this, the difference, it's insane. That gun is huge. And apparently it's called Love is Sin, apparently, but no one really knows, but that's just speculation, but that is quite a cool name. Oh, I prefer like the Deadly Sins, you know, you can have like the four Deadly Sins or something like that. Well, I know there's seven, but still. That is the best comparison I could make, there's not really that much artwork of him. Um, that new gun, whatever it's called, Love is Sin, whatever you want to call it, but there's not really that much art artwork on it. But um, a funny thing I noticed, which you guys might have noticed, if you look at that, you know, development trailer, if you just skip back, you can see these like sort of things on, you know, your feet. And the bit where she's walking away, when, remember when I put us at the feet, there is a mark on her feet, which is the exact same as the logo, so maybe that's why the bullets go through different portals and stuff, I don't know. But anyway. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like, put your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And yeah, I'll get more videos up in the future. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.